For over 15 years as a home loan lender, I've seen so many situations where people get all worked up about the home loan process. So today I'm gonna to tell you 10 easy steps to obtaining a home loan. First and foremost, you wanna complete that pre-qualification application. That's gonna provide all the details so the lender can start to formulate a strategy that's best for you. Once the pre-qualification application's done, step two, the lender's going to pull your credit report, which is vital. Every home loan program out there essentially is gonna use credit in some way to determine your eligibility. Number three, documentation. Now, this is always what holds people back. You know what I mean, it's a lot of paperwork. However, the key here is you wanna get it to the lender as soon as possible in the pre-qualification process because the lender already is thinking based on the initial conversations from the application that they know X, Y, and Z. And a lot of times the documentation changes the numbers and changes the strategies. So getting the documentation uploaded is crucial. Please don't forget that. Number four, once the lender has reviewed the credit, reviewed the pre-qualification application and the documentation, they're going to issue you a pre-qualification letter, which means step number five, the fun part, you get to go home shopping. You get to go out and find your perfect house. And once you've found your perfect house, you're going to submit an offer on that house. Once you're under contract, now the lender is going to start the contract to close process. So number seven, as soon as your lender receives the contract, depending on your close time frame and your escrows, they're generally going to lock in the interest rate and send you your initial set of loan disclosures. They're going to walk through the disclosures and the process. Everything is on the table and should be very clear in your mind of what is next. Step number eight, the process is going to begin. So there's a pre-qualification process and when you're under contract, there's going to be an underwriting to close type of process. Your loan partner or your processor is going to prepare your loan file for underwriting. And I know underwriting doesn't mean anything to you, but to the lending process, it's a human being the person that actually is going to review all the details, making sure that everything meets the lending deadlines and is going to approve your home loan. We do underwrite loans prior to contracts to provide a higher level of service and awareness for you. Unfortunately, most lenders don't. Reach out for more details. You should know after underwriting, many times a little bit more documentation is needed. Please don't let it worry you though this is completely normal for the industry. Step number nine is your closing process. So now your loan's approved and the lender's moving your loan file into closing. You will receive your closing disclosures. Your lender's going to coordinate with your real estate agent and the title company and you on signing your final loan disclosures and the timing of it. Last step, number 10, and this should always be the best step in the fund day is getting your loan funded. That means the lender is going to send the money to the title company, escrow company, and you're going to record, or they are gonna record the deed of trust and you're gonna get the keys. So that is it, 10 steps. I know, that was a lot, but there's a lot involved in the process, which is why you should be working with an experienced lending team. One you know, like, and trust. Reach out for more details to share our process with you, educate you, serve you, and on your trust.